I want to look at our test one more time before we're done and look at the next line from what we just looked at earlier. And that's this visit and this fixed string right here, slash users. Now, this is very not so so nice, especially if we need to be able to pass parameters or something like that. And Rails allows us to, instead of having a fixed string, use a variable that represents this string. Let me show you by going back and running our rake routes command. When we run our rake routes, we, we've focused more on the actions that show up with our rake routes o over here in this column. And I said to ignore this column right here. Now we're going to focus on, on this column right here. For these URI patterns, Rails gives a variable name that represents this string. So there's a, a user's path, a new user path, an edit user path, and a user path that all get uh, created. This user's path represents slash users. New user path separate, represents slash user slash new. Now we don't need, in, in this case, a, a different name because it's the same URL. It's just a different action. Whereas here we need a new URL because our action is the same, but it, it, our actual string is different. So if you look at these four names, they represent all of the different URL patterns. And then we just have to combine them with different verbs or, or request types to, to get our uh, different actions that we want. So by default with Capybara, when you do a visit, you do a get. So all we need to do is visit users path. Um, by the way, there's, there's also, this could be users URL. Uh, and that's why in this prefix you don't see users path. You only see users. You have the option of doing URL or path. Um, path just represents the, the string. URL includes the uh, HTTP colon slash server name slash and the string. So the URL is the more complete. Uh, the path is fine usually in both our tests and our code because we can get along with uh, relative locations just fine. And so when we change our code now to visit user's path, it's a little bit more readable. It doesn't have that fixed string in it. And it will also allow us to pass parameters, parameters like a specific user ID when we get down here, um, or some, some other parameters that, that we might want to use if the need case. And it will allow us to, to better see some things that are coming up in very near videos. So let's go ahead and save that file. And of course, we want to run our test just to make sure that this didn't break it somehow by using user's path. And Capybara and our spec didn't know what that was. So a reminder that we're always running our tests over and over again to make sure that they pass before we say that we're done. But they have passed, and so we are done.